doesn't really concern me. But it should actually concern everyone because these kind of feedback loops is what creates a situation of too big to fail. If companies are allowed to represent such a huge part of the US economy, they must not be allowed to fail because to let them fail would be like letting a competing nation win. And the CEOs of these companies know that the US government will do anything and everything to make sure that we win the race against China. Here's a clip of Sam Altman saying exactly that. So I guess given the magnitude of what I expect AI economic impact to look like, sort of, I do think the government ends up as like the insurer of last resort. What he's saying makes total sense. Like if you were CEO and you knew how strategically important your industry was, wouldn't you do everything in your power to get as big as possible so that the government takes a strategic interest in you? If AI CapEx slows down, the US economy slows down. If the US economy slows down, markets fall. If markets fall, there's gonna be political pressure to save these companies at all costs because if not, it's gonna hurt everyone, not just investors, but the jobs, the employees, and the country's interest as well. That's why Sam can say something like that out loud because it's true. The US government cannot and will not allow this race of AI to just be lost. Now what all of this means is that the bigger AI gets, the more all of us are involved in it. And the more likely taxpayers will have to eventually backstop it if something were to go wrong.